No. <laughs> what? That's tight. <laughs> and it has the tissue. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> so they took us seriously. Oh All right, guys. Um, so I was watching this mini documentary about what? Uh, it's on OTR Food and History. The documentary is called Exploring Southeast Asia's Most Unappreciated Cuisine. Oh, oh Nino was just watching that. Yeah, what is yeah. it, Laotian food? Nino was watching this? Do you think it's Laotian food? Well, because Uncle Roger was recently saying Laotian food is shit. I wish it was Laotian food. Okay. Just complete. <laughs> he says it's like the wannabe Thai food. It's a shit. And then everyone got so mad. You don't know shit about fucking Laos food. It's fucking so different. But to be honest, though, after that. Here we go. It actually benefited Laos food because I started eating, I went specifically to oh. Laotian restaurants to see the difference. So it benefited Laos food because you went to a couple of restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great big honor yeah. for Laos food. <laughs> it's a big, big move. Big move yep. Joe Jitakawa has tried it. Three restaurants. And he loves it. Can't <laughs> confirm it this time. I was convinced. Stellar reviews. Uncle Roger, you're wrong, but you liked it. I love, or I mean, I already had it before, but I had to have like, <laughs> But I had to have specific Laotian dishes to uh -huh. compare. Like they got some crispy rice, they got this like soup that's like Laotian udon. And I know they're gonna hate me because they're like, it's not udon, it's our own thing. But like, it's literally Laotian oh. udon. It's got thick noodles, it's fucking bomb. So what do you think is the most unappreciated cuisine in Southeast Asia? I don't know, Southeast Asian cuisines I think are so good, but it's not mainstream. Cause like, because. it's just recently, that you see more Malaysian restaurants coming out. Mm, that's true. Um, people are venturing outside of Thai food. And, you know, like, yeah, I think there's not enough of, like, restaurants for people to try. Yeah. You know what I never tried? Guamanian food. But that ain't Southeast Asian, though. That's not? No. What is Guamanian food? It's Polynesian. It's from Guam, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like they got Guamanian barbecue. Oh, yeah. oh. How is that different? What do they put on it? Some Guam sauce. <laughs> or like more passion. Can't beat him. You can't stop this guy. Hit it with the Guam sauce. <laughs> well, he's got deep cultural knowledge. So, um, I was watching this video and it's. I think it's called Chamorro. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, that looks good. It does look good, but it's <laughs> underappreciated. Okay. What? Don't I've yell at seen that before. Filipino food? All right, you guys ready for yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is in the middle of the documentary. Uh, and then Steve just gets it in a trash can and throws it away? It's, it's, about, it's about 14 minutes in. Okay. Uh, no one so much as despised. <laughs> despised? As that might be. But we can't tell this story without confronting that subject. So it's Filipino food. They're talking about how it's the most hated. <laughs> I didn't know this. What? No! Oh no. my god. What? No! What? That's tight. <laughs> and it has the tissue. Paper. <laughs> so they took us seriously. Oh my god. Yes. Awesome. They believe. Oh my god. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's incredible. That made my whole day. And after that clip, there's nothing about white people shitting on Filipino food. That made my whole day. That is so it. fucking funny. I like it. It's some trash effects. <laughs> trash. Hey, who would you like to thank out there? Dude, trolling to the moon, by the way. <laughs> trolling to the moon. Oh, we God. made it! It's going to the moon. Wow, that's wild. That's Dude, so I was at Christmas. I was at Christmas. And I was telling my father-in-law uh, about this <laughs> bit about how I fucking hate Filipino food and shit. And he was Aww. crying. He couldn't even breathe. He was laughing so hard he couldn't even breathe. <laughs> Yo! Show them this documentary, dude. Show them this documentary. I know, right? He'll love it. He'll love it. I can't believe they took it seriously. Yeah. They, they really took it seriously. Uh, I yeah. can believe they took it really? seriously. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. but when Steve said, I go to a uh, Filipino buffet so I could load up the plate just to throw it away. <laughs> He oh. fucking sold it, dude. <laughs> what a fuck? Just so I could throw it away. Uh, I even, still think about that shit today. Dude. It's even weirder because <laughs> they're the they're though. using it's it so as good. an element to support a narrative that I didn't even know existed. Honestly, I didn't know that like most people hate Filipino food. I, I think Steve started the narrative. No. <laughs> Can we go back to my fucking outfit? How could you take this guy seriously? <laughs> and then cut to the guy with the nosebleed. <laughs> Dude, I have, to explain, I have to explain myself every time I get in and out of a Uber car. Every time I go to my hotel, I have to explain myself. 
This dude, I mean, they. I like how you're the poster boy of an intolerant white guy. I love it. They jump off part two, which oh. is called Why Does the World Hate, hate Philippines? The World Hates Using it. the Amazing. image of Steve, like, in his freaking tracksuit. Right, oh no, in his Wu chain. <laughs> no, that's one of my tracksuits. The short version is. It's pretty <laughs> But in the trash where it belongs. <laughs> but then it, it's followed with clips of people actually not liking it. All white guys. Yeah, all white dudes. How can you not like it? It's one of the easiest foods to like. STV hates it. Yeah, I hate it real bad. Real bad. I use this clip too, guys. I, was, it, was it an actual stereotype? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I never heard of that. I, I didn't hear about that either. I didn't that's why it's even thing. funnier because yeah. I didn't know it was a thing and it we just played into it. I honestly had I really had no idea. I really think that. Steve cat was the catalyst for the momentum to build this discrimination against <laughs> I Filipino food. Okay. Yeah. I made it okay. People were really a lot of white people out there where they were like, well, I don't know if I can say that. Yeah, they didn't want to get canceled and they were like, yo, this savior right over here can speak up for us. I do feel like I hear I do hear this narrative with people that like don't really know that many Filipino folks. That don't have like a close group of family friends, you know. I do. I have heard people say like, "I hate Filipino food." That's so yeah, crazy, yeah, man. definitely. What is there to hate? It's, Were they all there's white? so many things in Filipino. Well, it's food. usually it's usually something like I went to a a, a family oh, thing, like a and I'm like, <laughs> they had like one thing they didn't like, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, Filipino food is a good." I mean, if you're eating honestly, the more legit the Filipino food gets, <laughs> like the more intimidating it is. No, for sure. sure. But then, like, if when I went to Australia, we went to like a like like just a normal like uh, food fest area, and there was tons of Filipino food, I more like than Aust here. Australia is different though, because they yeah. have like their influence on Southeast uh, Southeast Asian food is like way higher. Yeah. And they had the longest lines, and it was just like chicken skewers, beef skewers. It's like, oh, yeah, bro. what is that dish? That looks so good. The thing in a skillet it had a lemon, it had like a half chopped lemon in there. Yeah, the right, first thing, the, that you had the video so frozen bad. on it when we- That looked like a beefsteak fried you. rice almost. Before yeah. they showed part two. Yeah, you probably were fucking before. sitting here too, <laughs> loading this thing up, <laughs> the little shitty eating grit on your face. <laughs> you know it's gonna show me in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was cracking up earlier, because I saw him put that title in the thing, uh, and I was like, uh, that's title? You're talking about that thing? Yeah, 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 what is that? Oh no, man. That looks good. That looks bomb. You know what I haven't tried yet? I ate a lot of Filipino food, but I haven't tried the the spread. Where they put out the banana leaves and then you just have fucking barbecue, like yeah, like the oh, rice, and just yeah. you just sit there and you just fucking feast like it's a crab boil. I want to do that. That does look really fun. Kabayans are really yeah. Because after I found this video, like then my algorithm started showing me other videos of people talking about the same thing. How like. But that's Filipino everything. Like, There's yeah. so many videos about how people hate all kinds of foods out there. Yeah. It's not like everyone knows Filipino food yeah, sucks. Nobody talks about it with such poetry, like <laughs> <laughs> talking about going to a buffet, buffet line and loading up your plate <laughs> just to dump it in the trash. I don't think anybody talks. They might be like, it's a little salty or slight on this, but you're like, I load up my whole fucking place so I dump it in the trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is funny, that's like the degree group. that he's saying it, you would think someone would be smart enough to be like, okay, yeah, that's this is they, stupid. Nah, that's that's wild that. to me. Yeah, and then people are like, dude, and this guy's married to a Filipino. <laughs> Bro, Steve will say some wild shit just he because is. he's doing a bit, but the comments are they always think he's <laughs> they that. always think he's telling the truth. That's that's Ryan's fault. Because he's always <laughs> chopping out the context yeah, yeah, yeah. and just hitting the punchline. But that's, but that's yeah, what we want. So yeah. true. That's what we want. We yeah. want people to like really yeah, uncover yeah, themselves. Just like morons. He know? knows exactly what I yeah. like. Yeah. yeah, let's get him more documentaries, dude. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. What else can, what other dude, nation I'm, can we I'm actually in a documentary that's taught in um feminism courses <clears throat> and then the documentary is called tough guys 2 and everyone kept sending it to me in college right, right. like the sequel tough guys 2 yeah it's number <laughs> two it's not one but it's called tough guys right and then they kept sending it to me i was like what Sick. the fuck is this basically they have a um so their they, their their hypothesis or their position is that asian american men were adopting black culture to appear more tough and aggressive i'm like that statement is hella fucking racist to begin with because you're saying that hip-hop and black culture is aggressive age-old fucking racist ideal right <laughs> and on, on top of that they're thinking that asians are mimicking like black people rather than saying like they grew up in a black neighborhood or whatever but what they use to prove that point is i did a character and, a, and a, called Asians acting black. So I was pretending to be like a, a, a wannabe like rapper. <laughs> so I was like speaking like that. They took that fake character and they said, see, look at these Asians pretending to be black. 
<laughs> and at the end of that video, I go, I make a point, right? I'm just saying like, yeah, everyone thinks certain Asians are acting black, but you guys are forgetting that we grew up in black neighborhoods too. And that's where we learn English. And I kind of dissect it and I'm just like, that's fucking crazy. So they decided to cut out that portion to prove a point by using a parody character. That's like yeah. using Matt TV and SNL to prove a legitimate point. Or Babylon B or Onion. That's so fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah but that's I mean, being shown. You gave them really good reference material though. You know what I mean? It's probably just like, <laughs> they just typed it. It just had fire. better traction, you know? It's just you're being lazy as shit, right? But yeah, that's that's showed in schools. So people are that's watching funny, that though. in school. Oh, that's that's funny. So funny. I prefer that. And I'm like, yeah. that's fucking crazy. Tough Guys 2. We got to get this DVD, bro. Can you yeah, sue? Can, can you sue for Tough Guys 3? <laughs> like, what's up? You know they didn't make any money on Tough Guys 2. <laughs> Straight I asked DVD. my lawyer to, 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 to get a, a, you know, a whole, like, what do you call it? Like a copyright infringement. But he said it, f it fell under fair use. <laughs> So, even if it's used incorrectly. I think the only best way is maybe what we should do is take that material, dissect it, and like ridicule it. Because like, I, I just can't believe they're teaching that in university. Let's shit on Tough in Guys 2. In university, too. you're supposed to check your sources, yeah. make sure it's credible. Let's just and, produce like, Tough Guys 3. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Let's just make Let's it. just get the rights to the title and just make it. Are you looking to be a more masculine maybe, maybe male? Somebody, <laughs> uh, we can kill this. Maybe some, maybe somebody uh, somebody in that Andrew production Pitcher. crew knew you from back in the day, and he goes, "Oh, he's not acting. That guy's not acting." That's so yeah. funny. I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, he's scary. He's like that. <laughs> no, so That's your mama. I had to figure out who the fuck made this, right? Yeah. It's some Canadian guy. So I'm like, <laughs> he's looking at it from a Canadian yeah, lens. Yeah, he's probably know, like, uh, "Oh, in Canada, you have all these new Asian immigrants that are probably adopting hip hop." So he yeah. sees it from that lens. He doesn't see it from like. Oh, these kids grow up in America in different neighborhoods. They're not acting a certain Maybe. way. You know what I mean? Maybe he's an Asian in Canada who's fucking sick and tired of being called white adjacent. Oh. So he's producing this fucking thing by by bringing and bridging the gap between Asians and blacks. And I Maybe, think huh? I think that's why we should produce Tough Guys 3. We yeah. should. We should carry on that mantle. I think it shows the link. Dude, thing. Tough Guys 3. <laughs> Tough Guys 3, I'm in. Is it T-U-F-F? -F? Please tell me it's yes. T-U-F-F. -F. No, it's tough, tough, but the guy is G-U-I-S. It's like disguise, yeah. Sick. Oh, Tough Guys. Oh, that's, oh, that's sick. sick. That's, that's so cool. That's really oh cool. Oh my God, yo. Stupid. Dude, <laughs> Anthony's hype, dude. Look how happy Anthony is. I would actually like to debate player. this guy oh be because- This guy. This guy, yeah. <laughs> this guy. Man. If you're supposed to be like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like this guy doesn't have a backbone to but debate. But if, if you're a professor, Guys. right, and then you have a you have this point, you should be able to debate like what you know. And and he clearly didn't. He's from Canada. His yeah. life already sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's missing the social aspect. Outside, if he can't yeah, if he can't yeah. read yeah. the satire no in that clip, I don't think he's gonna fucking have it. I don't think he's gonna have it. Like, how can you use satirical things as as proof to people supporting your time, bro? That's yeah. all yeah. people do. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's like yeah, fucking quoting up like a a porn video. <laughs> it's like, look how people are having look. sex and it cuts to a fucking... In your psychology porn, paper. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. like, what the it's like sometimes at jobs, men use leverage in order to have sex with women. And he's like, hey, so like, um, you know, you're late on your work, uh, we're gonna have to figure something out. So you're gonna have to blow me. <laughs> you're probably gonna have to suck my dick and lick, lick my butthole too. <laughs> oh no, I guess I have to. Uh, yeah, really Can you believe the guy just recorded and didn't help? Yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck, dude? Landlords are predatory. <laughs> I mean, all we did was discover the hack in that industry. That's all. <laughs> I w yeah, I haven't seen the whole documentary. Uh, I haven't seen it, dude. Press the link in bio for the GoFundMe for Tough Guys 3. <laughs> Let's go! T-Y-S-E.